Hey there, how you doing? It's Chris, back at you one more time with another tip on how to use that website I built for you to get more customers so it's not just sitting out there on the internet being completely useless to you. In this video, I'm gonna talk about repurposing the content on your website to get more online exposure. In the online space, content is king, and it comes in all shapes and sizes. Local news crew does a feature story about you, that's content. Someone gives you five stars on Yelp, believe it or not, that's content too. Anything that someone can look at online that has an effect on what people think of your business, that's content. There's a conversation going on about your business online. It has a narrative. Your job is to shape that conversation. And one way to do that is by putting your own content out there. And if you're going to create content, repurpose it so you can get as much bang for the buck as you can. But let's not get it twisted. We're not talking about cranking out stuff trying to fill up the internet. Different people digest the internet in different ways. And repurposing your content allows you to be where more people are looking with more of what they're looking for, with a lot less effort. So, what is repurposing? It's taking one piece of content and turning it into four, five, or even six other pieces of content and then pushing them out onto other online platforms besides your website so you can direct people back to your website. Let's say you have this really nice article that you want to hang on your blog. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Writing articles, not your thing. Remember, I built your website, I feel you. I'm smelling what you're cooking, I'm picking up what you're laying down, I got you. If you're on my basic plan, you get one article a month. You may not be using it the way I want you to, but it's there. I'll do the writing for you. You just give me a topic and three or four points that you wanna make about that topic, and I'll get an article put together, you can polish it up. Now. Once we've got that article, it's time to go into the lab and start repurposing. And the easiest way to repurpose an article, turn it into a video. Now, that used to take a whole lot of heavy lifting, but now we've got technology. You can go online to sites like invideo.com or even vidnami.com. I know, silly names, but great software. Creating a video is simple. Cut and paste your article into their software and it will spit out a complete video with images, scenes, and subtitles in less than 10 minutes. If you want to fiddle with it after that and you know, polish it up a little bit more, you can, but they're pretty sweet right out of the box. I use NVIDIA most of the time these days, but I used Vidnami when I was putting together the Client Finder course. Now, if you want to give either one of these a try, may I suggest that you use one of my affiliate links? chriscarter.net slash vidnami or chriscarter.net slash invideo. Now the vidnami link uh, gets you a 14 day free trial and the invideo link gives you 50% off for life, which is pretty sweet. Invideo even has a free for life tier, so you can try either one of these platforms out without having any skin in the game. So now that you've got a video and an article, <laughs> you've got options. Obviously you're gonna slap your video on YouTube, but why stop there? There are a ton of other video sharing sites out there. Seriously, just Google video sharing sites and you'll see what I mean. You know what else you could do with a video? Pull out the audio and create a podcast. I know, that sounds like a bridge too far, but let's get real. It's not like you really need to be a technical savant. As your duly deputized internet sherpa, if you wanna fire up a podcast so you can get more mileage out of your content, I got you covered. I'll take care of the geekery and get you over the hump. It's what I do, you're nice like that. Now, whether you do or not, it's up to you. I just want you to know that the option is out there. Podcast, video, article, not doing bad so far, right? So, you got a banging article and a killer video. Your next step should be obvious. Social media. Social media loves video. Facebook, Instagram, video posts and stories, Twitter, and of course, TikTok. You got options. You know what else social media loves? Images, pictures, photos. Take that original blog article, chop it up into a few snippets, slap some cool images on them, and push them out all over your social media as well. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest. More bang for your buck. But we're not done. Nope, not yet. You can get additional mileage even if you don't chop up the original article. Just repost it to the different blogging sites that are out there like Blogger and Tumblr and Medium. Same content, wider audience. All right, so what's my point? Well. This has been a whole lot of what without much of the why, and I get that. I'll dig into the why more in another video, but for right now, just think of it this way. Whether you like it or not, your company has an online profile, and so does your local competition. And for a lot of your future customers, that's all they get to go by before they decide where they're going to spend their hard-earned money. 
Now you can actively shape your online profile or you can let it shape itself and see what you end up with. Repurposing content is one of the tools in the toolbox that you can use to shape that conversation. Now, if you want a deeper dive on crafting what your business looks like to your future customers, check out my client finder course, chriscarter.net slash client dash finder. Or if you're not into homework, just schedule a call and we can chew the fat a little bit. chriscarter.net slash appointments. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you next time.